Hi again then guys, and so we've got another Gran Turismo 6 top speed tune for you today. And this time it's for the Honda Accord Euro R, and this is the year 2000 model. So you want your racing soft tyres, as usual. For suspension we've lowered the ride height to 100, front and rear. Springs to 725 and 475. Dampers to 4, anti-roll to 5. Camber on 2, neutral toe as always. For the gearbox, we've got an auto setting of 180. Then for the individual gears, we've got 2.8. And then for second, third, fourth, and fifth, all the way to the left. And then sixth on 0.725 with a final drive of 3.5. For the diff, we've got torque, acceleration, and braking all on 30. All the power upgrades, of course. And although I haven't fitted it, as always, I would recommend having NOS. And of course, you want the full weight loss package. Traction control is of course turned off as always. And so this particular Accord is quite a bit quicker actually than the newer version. The newer car has similar specs, but it's simply not as quick. Now, this is in effect a Type R model from what I understand. I'm, I'm not the biggest of Honda fans, but I'm sure there are people who will tell me I'm wrong in that. But it's essentially a Type R, from what I understand, the Euro R. And it's a pretty decent car. It has a cruising speed of just under 220, which is pretty decent for a 425 horsepower car. It is, of course, very light for a saloon, which does help it a lot. And it's a pretty good track car as well, because of being so light. And it's also, although it is a pretty long car, it's also relatively compact in terms of height and width. So it does have pretty good cornering. Now for draft potential, you don't really have very much room for slipstream with this tune. It's fairly close to the red line. But if you do need it, of course, to do more draft, then just extend the final drive a bit more, of course, as always. But overall, this is a very good card on the record. I don't use it that much, but it is still a very good card. It's kind of a shame that you can't get more power out of it. It feels like it could be a lot quicker if you could unleash more power out of that engine. And it's certainly capable of producing more than 425 horsepower, far more. It would be better, I would say, if it could get maybe five or 600 horsepower. Then you could probably get a top speed probably of around 235, maybe even 240 out of it. But as it is, like I said, it cruises at just under 220 which is pretty decent, as I said, for a car of its power and for a car which is a non-premium model as well, so obviously it doesn't have the fully detailed interior. Now, as you can see, like I said, you are pretty much sitting on the red line, so you don't have very much draft potential at all, maybe a couple of hundred RPM, so you'll probably be able to slipstream it up to about the 225 region, maybe 230, but I doubt it. So, like I said, if you do need it to do more than that, just extend the final drive a little bit lower. But overall, it's a very good car. It handles very well on the curve. If you do plan on taking it significantly higher with Slipstream, you may want to increase the camber a bit more just to stop it from weaving over the road, as some front-wheel drive cars can do at very, very high speed. But overall, it's a very good car. So, if you decide to use this tune, I hope you find it of course helpful and competitive and if you're new to the channel or just found this particular tune helpful in general feel free to subscribe I put out new tunes like this every day various other tunes and reviews in the week as well and as always thanks for watching